Okay, so next question is 2010, question 2D. You're asked, given that sodium hydroxide was in excess, calculate the percentage yield of soap. So this is my soap. Okay, remember my non-polar end and my polar ta or my uh, polar head. Okay, this is my glycerol triciarate. So I'm told that NaOH is my reagent in excess. So that means my glycerol triciarate must be my limiting reagent. I'm told in the question that I have 8.9 grams and I have to work out my relative molecular mass of my glycerol triciarate. So 12 by 17 plus 1 by 35 plus 12 plus 16 plus 16 plus 12 plus 1 by 2 plus 12 by 17 plus 1 by 35 plus 12 plus 16, 16, 1 or sorry, 12 and 1. And plus 12 by 17, plus 1 by 35, plus 12, plus 16, plus 16, plus 12, plus 1 by 2. That gives me a total of 890. I divide 8.9, divided by 890, and that gives me 0 0.01 moles. Anytime we're looking for the amount of product formed, we always set it up with the ratio. So if I look here, my glycerol stearate is 1, my soap is 3. So ratio 1 is to 3. So if I have 0 0.01 moles of glycerol tristearate, I have 0 0.03 moles of my soap. So I'm asked for my percentage yield. I'm told in the question that I end up with 7.0 grams of my soap. That's my actual yield. So I need to find my theoretical yield. So in theory, 0 0.03 moles is produced. And my relative molecular mass of soap is up here. So 12 by 17 plus 1 by 35 plus 12 plus 16 plus 16 plus 23. That gives me a total of 306. So 0 0.03 multiplied by 306 gives me a 9.8 gram. And this is my theoretical yield. So the amount I can have theoretically. So to get my percentage yield, it's the actual yield. I'm told I end up with 7.0 grams of pure dry soap. My theoretical yield is 9.18 multiplied by 100 over 1 gives you 76.25%.